Hello and welcome to tutorial 207. In this tutorial we're going to be using the Excel class to get information from an Excel spreadsheet and use that information to generate some order tickets. So let me just show you what I mean by that. What we have in the program is a form which I've created and this has got some text and it has a button. It also has an area here which refers to place on my hard drive where I have an Excel spreadsheet. In the Excel spreadsheet we have some basic information. We have a symbol name and we have some uh, pricing and some other information which we're going to use in a method which will create an order ticket and I'll show, I'll demonstrate that later. This is not too dissimilar from tutorial 134 and 135. In tutorial 134 I built this information, hard coded this information into the actual into the actual program and in tutorial 135 the information was input using a form but what I've done is kept the method the same that generates the order tickets. So if you want to know more about that you can go back and look at tutorial 134. I'm also going to include that video on this page. So let's have a look at the program. Quite simple when you consider that most of it can be created just using the toolbox. And one of the things that is particularly useful to, to develop in the toolbox is the form. So if we were wanting to add a form to this now, what I could do is right click and then say add form. Now I've already got a form so we don't need to do that. What we do need to do is make sure that in our toolbars we have got a, a resource view visible. In other words a little tick there and if we go to resource view you can see for this tutorial that we have a form here. So if we double click on that we will get then to the toolbox and we'll get to our form and we can change anything we like on our form. So uh, the way I've got this screen set up is I've got properties on the right. This obviously is the, uh, the, the form and these are the items and we could, we could add for example an item just by double clicking, selecting it and then changing its properties over here. Don't want to do that so I'm just going to delete it but uh, for example here we have a text box and what this is doing is displaying the name of the file that uh, is perhaps a bit difficult to see but that is the file that we have I have on my hard drive which is the file that we're going to get the Excel information from you'll see that I've got the text set to file name which is actually uh, an input for this program and then you can change uh, for example if we were to go to the uh, the form itself we could change the color it's set to green at the moment we could say well let's go for that color instead and you'll see we get rather a different form um, so I'm just going to go back and turn it to green and uh, so that's that's the first thing that's the the development of the form what I haven't done is for the program in this case I've not copied that from the designer generated code however if you do go back and look at the development of setup order method you'll see that that was very heavily created using the toolbox and then copied from the designer generated code. If you don't know what I'm talking about designer generated code we can go here click on designer generated code and that is showing you the code that makes up our form and uh, clearly it's a lot easier to use the toolbox to create this form which is actually quite a simple one but uh, lots of code involved. I'm not going to copy that into the program for this that can stay in the designer generated code uh, but I did copy this in and this is actually the same code that is in tutorial 134 and in the video that's on the program page I do go through all the steps that I uh, use to create this. Incidentally this program is really just to demonstrate it's not particularly sophisticated. Please only use it with your uh, simulated account and if you want to add more bells and whistles to it you're welcome to do so. Okay so that is the, uh, the method where we actually create the order tickets. We also have this item here which is the button click. So where does this come from? Well if we go back to the form and we click on there and we go to the events you'll see that 
we had a click event button click. So what I did is I double clicked in the empty space and that created the, the button click event, which we're now accessing in the program itself. So just for example, if we wish to have a, what I would do in, uh, in this form, click, I'd click the button and perhaps use the, the key press. Double, double click and you'll see that we have something created in our gener uh, designer generated code. But what you'll also see is we now have that method created here in the program and we could add some code to it. So we don't want that. I'm just going to delete that and just go back to the form and make sure that we don't have that either. So that is the button click. And what happens when we do the button click is we go through we access the spreadsheet, make sure that there is a spreadsheet at the place on your drive where you're specifying and that, that um, this pro the trade station does have is able to access that spreadsheet or you'll, you'll get an error. So what I've basically done is just gone through the sheet and said, if the uh, string in the first position is not equal to, is not equal to no string, then go through, print the values in that row and also set up order using the values in the row. And we access the values, as you can see, using the syntax. So we've got the name of the sheet. For the first one, it's actually a string. So cells are string. And uh, we've got column one, value one. Uh, value, remember, is starting as one and then it's being incremented each time. Cells are string, one, value one. Then cells as w as double two value one then cells as integer three that's the third column and then the final one is cells as integer the fourth column so those effectively relate to the name of the stock the double is the price and then we've got these two integers here then the final thing that we have in this program besides those two elements is a one statement and what we do in the one statement we set up a new workbook and then we set the workbook to the name of the file that we have on our hard drive and uh, what we've done is we've set it as shared visible we're loading it uh, we're saving on close and we've given it the name WB the other thing that we do is we open the form we simply do that by going form one which is the name of our form dot show the brackets so that is a very quick run through of the program. What I'm going to do when the market is open is just show you what happens when you click the button. Incidentally, make sure when you have this study applied to a chart, go to edit studies, double click on that and make sure that uh, the enable order placement objects is clicked. Okay, so I want to demonstrate what happens when we place an order and find our button here again. I'm going to click create and send orders and uh, they're going to go to the market. Not actually subscribe to a real time uh, feed here, but uh, this is fine for demonstrating this program. And we can see the order tickets that we've just uh, placed. Anyway, hopefully uh, that will be useful for you and beware, of course, if we were to click that again, we would create some, some new order tickets. Thank you very much.